Aussie Bolter's eyes shock gold. Star beats world record in sport he says sucks. Winter Olympics rap Scotty James has claimed the silver medal in a thrilling Winter Olympic snowboarding half-pipe final after being pipped by a legendary run from Japanese rival Aumu Hirano. And with Australia already having matched its record with three medals, there's a chance at a fourth thanks to skeleton bolter Jacqueline Narakat. Read on for a wrap of all the action from Beijing. Follow the Winter Olympics in our live blog below. Stream over 50 sports live and on demand with KO. New to KO? Try 14 days free now Swedish star wins in sport that sucks Sweden's Nils van der Poel broke his own world record and took home a second gold medal at the Beijing Olympics in a sport he himself said sucks. Competing in the men's 10,000 meter speed skating on Friday, van der Poel crossed the line in 12 minutes and 30.74 seconds beating his previous personal best of 12.32.95 he set in February 2021. Patrick Roest of the Netherlands took home silver while Italy's divide Otto finished with bronze. Eight laps to go, I felt like, OK, I got the gold within control. Now I just need to not F it up, he said. With four laps to go it was like, OK, now I can also go for the world record now, and then I kind of wanted to go for it. When you are a professional athlete in a sport that sucks as much as speed skating sucks, you've got to find a way to make it suck a little less, Van der Poel told Draper. And whatever you can get inspired by, you need to find that. Van der Poel had CCUSED the Netherlands speed skating hierarchy of corruption earlier in the week and after Friday's win, said he may be ready to hang up the skates. It feels like few people have the privilege of being able to end like this, Van der Poel told Discovery. When asked if that meant he is retiring, Van der Poel told Swedish newspaper F. Tonebladet, that is my conviction. But I've been wrong about that conviction before. We'll see what happens. It is quite the achievement for Van der Poel, who joined the Swedish army, ran ultramarathons and partied recently while taking a break from skating. That break was Van der Poel's attempt to stop burning out from training for the sport, which he claims sucks. When you are a professional athlete in a sport that sucks as much as speed skating sucks, you've got to find a way to make it suck a little less, Van der Poel told Draper. And whatever you can get inspired by, you need to find that. I had to make it adventurous, because I knew there would come a time when it wouldn't be adventurous no more. When I would lock myself up in Insel, Germany for two months just going for it. But I knew if I wanted to endure that, I had to, like, build up a mountain of motivation because I'm going to need that motivation one day. Corey Cops more heartbreak after reverse Bradbury Olympics debutant Brendan Corey was out for revenge after his heartbreak in the 1000M men's short track speed skating. Unfortunately for the Australian, he was dealt only more disappointment. Corey came in third in his heat with a time of 41.097, and then was forced to wait and hope he qualified in one of the four fastest third-place finishes. And he did just that. Finishing as the fourth fastest third-place finisher. The problem? Chinese star Long Sun was advanced with a time of 42.871 after the judge found Jens Van T. Wout bumped him. The ruling meant Long Sun was the 20th skater through. Corey was 21st, meaning he ultimately missed out. Corey reached the 1000M quarterfinals of that event in the Capital Indoor Stadium, only to crash out and take out a more fancied rival in the process. Narakat in mix for historic skeleton medal Brisbane's Jacqueline Narakat is in line for a remarkable podium finish in the Olympic women's skeleton, sitting first halfway through the four-part final. The 25 competitors raced down the slide four times across Friday and Saturday, with all of their times being combined to determine the medalists. After Friday's two heats Narakat sits first overall, with a combined time of 2.04.34, ahead of German pair Hannah Nies, 2.04.55 and Tina Hermann, 2.04.57. Narakat was second fastest in the opening heat, 1.02.05, recording the second fastest overall time of the day, and third fastest in the second heat, 
1.02.29. We aren't supposed to do well at the Winter Olympics so having the underdog tag works quite well, she said at the Yanking National Sliding Center. It was so much fun, Naraket, 31, beamed. This field is really fiercely competitive so to be sitting on top of it is phenomenal. I knew if I could put down two runs, I would be in the mix. The third heat is from 11.20 p.m. on Saturday night with the final, medal deciding heat from 12.55 a.m. With a 0.32 second gap between herself and fourth place Chinese athlete Dan Saul, Naraket must just remain consistent to earn Australia's.